So when it kills it, blink. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> All right, let's see. Ready, ready. Here's the cool part. We. <laughs> Hey guys, what is up? Crypto Grounds here. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Um, this is going to be a part of the the Clicker Heroes series. So I am making this a series now where I'm just going to do random videos based on what you guys want me to do. Um, so I had a few requests on my YouTube. Um, one of them is like a coin drop animation. Uh, we all have random bonus to uh, click and collect as they pass by. Um, I we also have an offline rewards, and that's it. So yeah, we'll do that. Um, I'll try to do as much as I can. Um, otherwise, the video's doing pretty good so far. Um, um, uh, before I, st I get started, I want to bring up my uh, Ko-Fi account. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you do. If you want to support me, buy me a coffee. I would highly appreciate it. And um, if you have Pinterest, you should follow me. I am Cryptograms. I'll be posting all my stuff on here. And I kind of just want to spread awareness of my name. Hopefully uh, get my tutorials spread out and my own idle games. So I'll be posting a bunch of screenshots here. So if you guys are curious, um, here is what you'll find the good stuff. Or you can just join, join Discord, which is found on my Pinterest. Right here. That's how you join my Discord server. Um, let's get on with the actual video itself. So, I gotta pull up Unity real quick. So, to get started, let's look up uh, a coin real quick. Um, the thing I'm not gonna know how to do is like the 3D stuff, you know, like 3D effects that some things do. So, I'm just gonna have a little icon, just like, you know, bounce, I guess. Just to, just to, just for basics, I guess. Um, so, we need to have a coin icon. Um, if you don't want to make your own, I'd really suggest you searching up a copyright-free picture. It'd be kind of difficult, but let's see. Um, you know what, this is, this is not transparent. You know what, I don't want to do this. Uh... Oh, yes, praise the Lord. Okay, um, so we have one right here. So let's save it. I'm just gonna save it to my downloads. I know I'm not very organized. Okay, it imported. Um, so let's add this. Let's add a group. Um, so we're gonna make it empty. Coins effect. So I guess I'm showing you general animation. <laughs> I said I wouldn't do it, but I guess I am now. <laughs> this is how it works. Nah, that's all good. I, I, I feel like this is something for me to kind of, you know, get better at, since I don't do enough animation. And animation itself is actually really confusing, so maybe it's a good thing I talk about it. All right, so we're gonna have our we're gonna have three coins just pop out whenever uh, a mob dies or enemy dies. So we're gonna put a coin here. Let's make it fifty by fifty. So we can just have it start at any position we want. So we're gonna have C one for coin one, and we'll just duplicate that three times. Um. So what we're gonna want to do here is create an animator. And then in the animation tab right here, we're going to create an animation. Make sure you're selecting on this empty object right here. It's so we can animate all of these objects within, within this one animator. I feel like that's something I'll, some people get confused about. Like, oh, maybe I should just do an animator at each one. But this is so much easier because you don't want to, you know, have three different animations playing at once. While you can just play one, it'll do all three. Move all three objects. If that makes sense. Oh yeah, so here's some animations I made in the past. So we're going to call this one Coin Explode. So to do this, we are going to just basically record... Um, we're just going to record an object moving just to have a 
template. We're gonna do the same thing here. Wah. You know, I probably should have put back to where this was. We'll do that. Sorry if I'm a little quiet, it's late again. I have to be quiet. So, you know, <laughs> it's, I know, it's not what you're expecting, trust me. Um, so yeah, here we go. Um, what we can do here for each one of these is add a, uh, add a property for each one of these is active. We'll make sure it's false at the beginning and then right after it's going to play the animation so we don't see it all the, all the time. So off, off, off. There we go. None of us seen. But until we hit the next frame, we gotta turn on everything. Boom. I could do if you. I mean, yeah. This makes this honestly works. This is a really basic animation. Boop. Um. Okay. So we can continue. Uh, doing stuff with this, and we want to copy this at the end so that we know it turns off at the end. So when it's done playing, it'll be hidden. Um, oh, one more thing I completely forget for each one of these, make sure um, Raycast target is on, or else you can't click through them, or else you're clicking a bunch of coins. And I think when this is off, it doesn't matter, but I think just in case. And I'm gonna keep animating this, you can just follow along. What's cool about animating these is that it creates curves, so it's not just like boop, boop, boop. It just makes a big line. All right, and then right here, these are all gonna fall. Nyo. Nyo. And boop. All right, so it looks like this. <laughs> it's a little wonky, yeah, especially there. Yeah. <laughs> It's so nice. <laughs> that is very. That's a little slow too. So, um, let's fix that. Let's try to fix that. It's a little better, but it's still going way too far out. So this these kind of fade out too fast while these come in too quick. So we can scoot these. I'm gonna scoot this to like Oh that's really fast. Never mind. This is gonna be a twenty-five twenty let's see. So simple, something like that is fine. I think that looks good. Um, okay, so there's a few settings that we have to do. Um, so if you go to our animations or wherever you saved it, make sure you go to Coin Explode and Disable Loop Time. Or else if you play, it's going to continuously play. We don't want that. Cool, we're good to go. So in our code, I think this one. Yes, it is. Okay, so what we're going to do here, we're going to create an animator. So we're going to do public animator. I think, actually, I think it's animation. I'm not completely sure. Let's try animation. We're going to do coin explode. And we're going to go back to here. 
And also, with this right here, we don't have to do anything here. This is all set up. Yeah, it is animator. That's what I thought. Alright, so in the code, every time it's killed, we're going to run this one command. Kills plus one, so we're going to do coin explode play, and we're going to put the title, so that's coin explode. Ah, why is it doing this? Um, coin explode. Coin explode. And we're going to do zero, zero. So the layer is, I'm not really sure what this is. I'm guessing it's something to do with like this right here, but I've never used it before. So I just set it to zero because that's, that's the default layer anyways. And this one, normalized time. I'm guessing that's just speed or the start, but I again, I'd put it at zero because that really doesn't matter. And this will play once. So <laughs> let's give this a try. This, I haven't done this in quite a while, so if I get this right first try, that'd be awesome. And I didn't look at any code before this, so... Oh, yes. Look at that. Boom. Awesome. That works. But the problem is that it's playing on start. I don't know why. That's right. Right here. So this is where this comes from. So here is really cool. You can make transitions, and it's awesome. I love it. But it can get really tedious sometimes. So... On entry, on play, it will automatically trigger this animation. So we're, what we're going to do is that we're going to right click, we're going to create an, a state, or it's going to be an empty state. And then we're going to right click on it, and we're going to set the set as the layer default state. So basically on entry, it's going to do absolutely nothing. If we start, uh, the coin doesn't turn off. Uh, that's another thing. We need to add a game object coin explode actually to avoid doing anything code wise we can just simply turn this off so it's hidden and then oh right we have to so coin explode game object so do you know what? This actually might work. So we have to turn all three of these off. Because that's what the animator does. It turns it on and off. See, this is automatically being played on entry. So let's see. Ready? Boom. See, they turn on and off. Look over here. It just turns on and off. Boop. Perfect. So we got that working. This animation not be perfect since the coin goes whoosh. But, you know, it's good for now. You can do it however you want. Just be creative and have fun with it. All right, next up, we are going to do, we're going to do offline production while we're at it. Um, okay, so this is going to be a little different one. So up here, we're going to need offline. We're going to need some stuff. Oh, especially up here. We're going to need using system. Okay. So we're going to need a public date time, current date, public date time, old time. This is the, this is not safe for time hacking. It can bug, which is a ha, that's your fault for cheating, but it's not guaranteed to work all the time. It can't stop it. So if this is the only way I know how to do it, so you'd have to find a different way if you want something safe. Um, but otherwise, let's just get on. Let's just get on with it. Um, we're gonna need a. Oh, this is where we need to make the save system. Rats. That's okay. Um, offline check. What else do we need? We need a float, public float idle time. This is to measure in seconds. So 
So since we don't have anything that factors production, we're going to make an artificial one that does uh, damage one, uh, one per second. We're going to just have DPS, and we're going to set the DPS to one, so no matter what, it's going to do one damage per second, right? Ah, this is a little difficult because I've skipped so much steps. I've been avoiding upgrades as much as possible just because it's kind of a, you know, you can do it on your own thing. <sighs> Alright. So we're going to make a method called load offline production. Public void load offline production. I always do this. So we're going to do if data dot offline what is it uh why am i doing data it's offline project check equals one if it's true we can't actually make this whole. let's do that if it's true we, we can just leave it as is because it's a state and then we're going to do long, we're going to create a temporary value for offline time. So this, we need to stop here. We need to create our save and load system. I don't like doing player prefs, honestly, but I really do not want to show you the complicated way. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. That is supposed to be for the original series, so I'm not going to do it in this video. Because it's it's uh, it's more like a copy. Actually, I do have the save system. I just don't want to copy and paste it. So we're just going to do this in here. I feel like that's bad to do. But honestly, getting the data... This is... From my old game, this is actually player press anyways. So we're, we're okay. I gotta remember how to do player preps. <laughs> so, ignore all this redness. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is... Um, this is a save. So we're gonna do... playerprefs.set String, yeah, we need to set a string. Uh, I hate having to do this. We're gonna call this money, and we're gonna put money dot to string done. So this is what we need. Ignore the red. This is because of this crap. Um, so we're gonna copy and paste this. DPS health. We don't need health cap. We don't need timer. Health should automatically be it. We don't need this either. Stage. Yeah, this is all the stuff we really need. And luckily, this is a lot simpler. Let's just set int stage. And we're going to do stage. Stage max kills. Kills max is boss timer cap. I don't think we need timer cap. However, we might need everything else. I just want to be safe and add it. Kills max, probably not, but I'd rather be safe. Okay, we can delete all this garbage right now. So this is our save right here. Oh, actually, we have one more really important thing. So, it's this right here. We don't need to save float time. So we're gonna do, we're gonna make another string here, up top. Ah, I'm just gonna paste it here. Yes, I know, I copied the P. I was hoping for this video to go a little faster, but it's okay. We're gonna do offline progress check to strings. So we're basically converting a bool to a string. <sighs> right? Is that what I'm doing? You know what? That should be okay. Um, let's do set ends. I like I like set ends. It's nicer.
so that means we can't do this anymore. We gotta do if progress check is equal to one. Okay, so now for our load system, we just gotta copy and paste all of this, replace all the sets to get, and so now we gotta do money equals. Ah, shoot, we forgot to do DPC, DPS. I hate player press with a passion. I like my method. It's really complicated. That's something I can't just really teach you how to do it because it took me too long to invent for me and someone else to invent. So these are going to be our default variables now. So we're going to do 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 10, 1. This should be 0. So now, we don't need this. Oh, right. These we set these as strings. And this is actually going to be double, um, double dot pairs that converts a string back to a double. It's amazing how math works. This, oh. <laughs> um, okay, I think we are, oh shoot. Offline time. Yeah, I know, I'm looking at a code. Not good, not good, not good, Zach, not good. I just don't remember what offline time was. Okay, we need to open up my safe system. Sorry for the hold. This is quite awkward. Also, if you want to see my save system without revealing, like, this is what it looks like. <laughs> Not very nice. Offline time. I see what this is now. So for save, we're going to have this line right here. <sighs> okay. And then, so this basically calculates, we don't need this right here. It basically cl uh, keeps track of the current time when saving, and we're going to be saving every five seconds. So down here, we are going to load that by converting, since this is a string, or uh, a long is basically a 64-bit uh, integer, I think. Yeah, in 64. We're going to do convert to in 64. Six int 64 player preps dot get string we're gonna load offline time and that's it so we have our time right here um previous time i'll just call this previous time you don't ever really need to mess with this ever again and then we're gonna have another date time dot or old time don't we have an old time though Right? That's what I thought. Okay, so we don't we don't need to make this. I don't know why. 
Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. So date time dot from binary temp. So I don't I don't again I really don't know how this all works. <laughs> I looked from really some tutorial from millenniums ago. So <laughs> I honestly don't exactly know what some of this stuff, but I know it's something some things are to do with converting seconds to uh some certain numbers, I guess. Um, okay, so now our current date equals system dot date time now. And we don't need the system. Alright, so that's easy enough to follow. And we need to calculate the difference between the old time and the new time. So we're going to do a time span difference equals current date minus old time. So that should work. Actually, I I think you have to subtract these. This is a certain method from date time. Yeah. That doesn't work because it's not just like a number that you can just subtract. It's like a, a um see can I pull it up? Nope, I can't pull up the struct. Um, anyways, let's continue. So we're gonna go to our idle time equals float difference total seconds. Now I can't remember why we cast it. Is total seconds is a double. This can be a double if you want to, but I don't really don't think you're gonna get past three point eight thirty eight seconds. That's totally, you know, totally possible. <laughs> so it only needs to be a float. Alright, so this is where we add our damage, basically. And I'm going to do this by gold. So our money plus equals health cap. Um, so what's the reward, first of all? This is the reward right here. <clears throat> so now that we have system, we can just get rid of this system dot math. It can just be system or math dot ceiling. Um. Anyways, so we have a reward right here. We're gonna times it by idle time. So basically, if we were gone for one second, we would be getting this much gold. But we need to multiply by DPS. So basically, for doing one damage per second. Um, this we're still missing something, right? We need to have our health. So, let's say this is 100 gold, is the reward of the monster. And the guy has 80 health. We are doing 1 per second. So let's see, the reward is 100. The boss is 80, has 80 health. And we are doing... <laughs> um... We are doing two per second. So in this case, we are getting 2.5 gold per second. But we don't want to make it that big. Okay. So we, so in offline production, it's usually divided by a good amount. In crypto clickers, I actually do it very small, just because it's not very offline friendly. So I do it very small. It depends on how much you want to do. But for this one, so we can actually see what's going on, I'm going to do divide by five. So every five seconds, you're getting the same production in the real game. If that makes sense. So that's it. <laughs> oh, the timer, right. We want to add a how long were you gone for? So we're going to add a text, public text offline time, text. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. So the text is going to equal you were gone for. And then we're going to add something cool that I just found out the other day, actually. We can use time span. We're gonna make a timer. 
equals uh I'm trying to remember how you did this. Yeah, I was doing it right. Okay. From seconds. Uh idle time. And basically this formats it for you. This is awesome. <laughs> Just plug that in. We're we're done. Oh, actually, no, we're not done. We are missing one thing. Ah, uh, shucks. This is what I don't know how to do on my own. I hate looking back at my code because I feel like that's not learning, but it must be done sometimes. Finding is the next problem. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. This is what we need. Timer.toString. We need to format it this way. I can't remember that, obviously. So this formats it as hours, minutes, seconds. And hours just keeps growing, I believe. Okay, so we are good here. Um... All right. Um. Oh yeah. I want to add another thing to the text. We're gonna add a new line, which you do by backslash n. Um. You earned. Our money to earn. <clears throat> so we don't have to copy and paste this twice. Also, it looks like this is redundant right here. So we're going to add money by money to earn and put that there. Uh, this, we don't need that space here. Okay, we should be good here. We just got to make the... We got to make the pop-up. Right. Um, so... Ah, we have so much to do. <laughs> um, public float save time. Save time plus equals time dot date delta time. Right now, I'm basically making the the five second timer. If save time greater than equal five equals zero. And save run. What I could do is put this at the bottom. I could do return. Ah, uh, nah, that's pointless. Never mind. Scratch what I said. So, and on load, we can get rid of these two, these two, this. Why do I have no health? I swear, I had a health. Um, okay. So, health equal health cap. Since we're having a safe system, we're gonna have this is boss checker. Get rid of that. And we should be good. Oh, duh. We need to have our load. Okay, is there anything I'm forgetting? I don't think so, except for the box. Public. So we could play this in load. So this will only show up if it's um, off, which we will turn this off automatically. So we'll do that by game object dot set active false. We're gonna copy and paste that. Run that in here. If it's true, then we will show this offline box. <sighs> All right. So we should be good.
Okay, so we're going to make our offline thing. I'm going to try to speed up the pace because I feel like I'm falling behind all the time. Uh, I was hoping for this to be like a, at least a 15 minute video, but I don't think that's the case anymore. <laughs> uh, let's see where we're at. Uh, 41 minutes, that's not good. Uh, offline. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, so we're going to make this a little box. Sprite. Um, I'm going to use this one. It's really not good color theme, I understand, but this will work. Um, we're gonna make this a big box. So we just need to have this one text. Bold, bleak, white. So we're gonna copy and paste so we know what it says. You, what did it say? You were gone for zero, zero, zero. You earned one hundred dollars. We could have another um, new line here, just because it makes it look a little better. But let's just stretch that out like this. Perfect. Um. All right. So our game controller, we need to have our explode object. So that's this coins effect. Offline text, offline box. Oh, right. We need to have another method. Public void close offline box. And if this is clicked, basically the oh, what's the, offline box dot set active. Um, ah, I wish it was just set active. That would be awesome. But it's a game object. We're gonna set that to false. Okay. UI button. You know. <laughs> this is just going to be your simple OK button. <laughs> We're gonna drag our game object and close, 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 close. All right, we should be good. So for the first time, the offline will not show up. Okay, so let's get some kills. So let's save. Let's make sure it's actually going to. Yep, so let's save. We're gonna close. We're gonna wait a few seconds. Okay, so let's give this a shot. Cross my fingers that it works. Okay, so we have positive news. The save and load worked. However, the offline progress did not. And I think that's just because we forgot to... I think we forgot to load. I think that's where we went wrong. So let's just close out of that. One, two, three, four, five. Too long. Let's go. Hmm. The idle time. Oh, so this is still zero. <clears throat> okay. So this is where we can set this to one, because it's basically it's doing nothing. It's stuck in this loop where it won't ever check it because it needs to change to one somehow. So on first save, it will change to one. Or it'll just keep saving to one, obviously. So after this, it should work. Okay, so after this one, it should work. After the save. Yep, here it is. It's one. We are good. So let's wait like one, two, three, four. This should be like around 10 seconds. Five, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> Bummer.
other than it's loading as a zero. Um, so let's see. I'm gonna check to see how I did that. So I seem to get into houses every time I do something. So ah, I see what I did wrong. So this is going to be a little funky on how I did this. I don't remember exactly why I did it this way. But I had this something like this right here. So this is going to be like a, a temporary variable. It really doesn't mean anything. Uh, we're going to do int. So this only loads once. What's wrong? There's nothing wrong with this code. <laughs> what? No way. Okay, that was stupid. Um, but yeah, I don't really, I still don't get why this progress check is still being weird. It's probably in the same system. Check. Sorry, I know you guys can't see it. So when it's save it, it automatically sets it to true. Okay, so maybe this is what we need to do. Ah, uh, I see why. It's because it's we have to save it one more time. So this right here, I don't think this is affecting anything at all. Because it's loading our progress just fine, right? I think it's this. It needs to be before the save. So that should make sense. That should fix our really stupid problem. Ooh, okay, okay, so we have 10 health, so let's do some math real quick to make sure. So we have 10, and our DPS is 1, so it's 10. Oh, um, right, I forgot, we did it this way. Okay, so our health cap is 10, so 10 divided by 14, ceiling, that's 1, so our health cap is... 10, so we get 0 0.1 per second times DPS, which is 1, divided by 5. So, we should be getting approximately 0 0.02 when we're offline. And, um, I didn't see that. So we'll see. It's a really large number, but we can fix that real quick. We'll do dot two string F2. Two digits is the magical number. Late. Hopefully, I can get to the other thing I had to do. 24 seconds. Awesome. So, we're going to do that. Times 24. It's around that. Obviously, I know how to do math, but it's somewhere around 0 0.201. 2, 2. Oh, the time. That's what that is. Okay. So, this is right. It's the time. It's not 0.6. That is why we get 49 cents. And it adds to our offline progress. Another thing is that if you want to do kills, you can. You'll just have to do like a, a total damage while you're gone. And just have to kind of make an equation. And I, I personally feel like progression that way offline doesn't work. You should just get money. So I'm not going to show it. Unless it's a really high demand thing. But therefore, we got our offline production working. So let's try going to a higher level. Stage 2. Let's have it save. We're going to wait a few seconds. While we're waiting, hopefully I'll remember, let's get started on that random multiplier thing. So I'm not going to have any animation or anything to this since I showed you how to make one. But I'm going to add this special, like, eyes thing right here. Just because it looks spooky. So this will be our little multiplier thing. That will show up a random time. <clears throat> so this will basically... 
Um, how, how did this person want me to do it? Bonuses to click and collect. So the bonuses I'm going to do is money per second. I'm just simply going to do that. Um, <clears throat> this one, for example, will be 2.26. It's going to be completely random. Um, how much money you get per second instantly. Actually, it needs to be bigger than that. That's lame. <laughs> so 20.26. Okay, um, I'm gonna put this under. Doesn't look very aligned, doesn't it? There you go. That looks a little better. Anchor it to the corner, maybe the side this time. So this is gonna be our little multiplier text. We're gonna be able to click this in the region. So that means we're gonna need a button. Okay, so in here. We are going to do our bolt. So our public. So we're gonna have a text. We're gonna have our bolt to text. Public. Um, we're gonna do double. Public double bolt value. And I feel like I should have a money per second value, even though you won't be able to see it. So let's set that something real quick. So that's. That's really easy. You just need to copy and paste it from down here. This is basically your 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 money maker right here. <laughs> All right, so our mult value will be set every time we click the button. So on start, we will st um make a random math equation or not a random number from whatever range you want to so how are we going to do that we are going to do <coughs> sorry um what are we going to do so we're going to set it to a <coughs> god i hate this system dot random dot next oh, I don't think I can do that okay I, I don't like doing this but it's random dot um call it anything I'm gonna call it ran new random okay um we're gonna have a unity system dot random I hate this. Static. Will this work? Ah, ah. Screw you, Unity. No one likes you. <laughs> Can we call it something? Damn. Alright. Unity sucks. So we have to do system dot random. Because Unity doesn't know how to make their own goddamn names. So we gotta do this now. So ran dot next we're gonna create a random number from i say we should do 20 to 100. um that's an int right okay so i guess we'll it'll just be a random a random thing right here so this is our multiple value 20 to 100 I think how to do this. Oh, we can do that. Awesome. <clears throat> so our multi value is going to start as this. Oh, you know what we can do here? We can do this. I know, math is awesome, or C sharp's awesome, I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, so we got our, we don't need this anymore. Fuck you, we don't need that. So our multi value is gonna be that times, oh, we need to have two actually. 
um, money. Okay, so that works. Um, so this will change every time we find this. So now we also need to have another random timer. So we're gonna have a timer value. Ah, oh, we need to make these floats. This is gonna be a long video once again. <laughs> <clears throat> so our timer is going to range between um, what is wrong with this code? Ah, I see now. Okay. We're going to range it for testing purposes. I'm going to do it in between 5 to 10 seconds. Okay. For most players, I would suggest between 100 to 300 seconds. So that's like a minute, 20 seconds to six minutes. It's just something random. Maybe if you, it really depends on how generous you are or how big your mole value is. It can't be super like game breaking, of course, because that's really unfair, you know? So that's for you to balance. <sighs> okay. So. Timer will automatically be set to zero. So we need to set that to cap. And then at the start, we're gonna have our molt. Ah, I should be doing this at the bottom, but I'm just kind of just, you know, not wanting to scroll down. So I, we're gonna subtract this by time dot tell the time as a timer if timer molt is less than zero or equals zero then we will create a brand new cap we will set the timer molt to that cap again this is getting a little repetitive we could put this in one method if we wanted to but I'm not going to um, and our object, this is the object, public image um, game object. Molt. I'm just going to call this the molt box. Because I'm not very good at names for tutorials. So I just kind of just go with it. Um, by start, we're going to disable this. And here we are going to turn it on. Oh, we also have this text we have to set. This one's just going to be molt value. Um, you know what? Actually, we're going to display how much money you get instead. This is just going to be a two string. Two. This might be a big number. So, if you watch my video and do exponent system, you're good to go. Oh, yeah, duh. Um, what else do I have to do? I th oh, yeah, right. We have to do our click. Public void open molt. That's what I'm going to call it. So once it's clicked... I'm just going to copy and paste this. Molt box will be turned back off. Our money will equal... Mm. So the timer will actually not be reset here. So this will all be gone. We can move this up here. Boom. Okay, so this will happen. And here, we can move this up here too. Because we, we only want this timer to go down 
during that. So if it's less than, this will happen. Otherwise, it'll keep counting down. So the timer cap will reset. Our money multiplier will reset as well. Money plus equals mult value money. I think that's it. I honestly think that's it. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, okay, let's do it. Let's give it a shot. Open molt. So this will be instead. Yeah, that's what it's going to be. And we could probably see this change too as it goes up. So we'll see how that looks. Molt box, molt text. Let's give this a shot. Okay, so good sign. Oh, okay. So we have our minutes here. So we got some. Hard earned money. Oh, wow. That was only nine seconds. Oh, you're right. Yeah, that was only nine seconds. So, and it's still counting down. I don't know why. So, we should get nine. Awesome. So, this is 63. Okay, so there's something a little mixed up here. Okay, so this is our molt value, and we're right now, obviously, we're getting 0.1 per second. That's why we're getting this. So we're going to click that. Boom. Here we go. Here's our random multiplier. Obviously, this is really weak. So let's see. Will this change as I level up? So let's change my... And I forgot. I totally forgot to add the damage per second. So let's just do this. And this is what it looks like if you click class. Oh, yeah, you see? That increased. Oh, it's because my DPS is one. It's really low. Hmm. Nothing's changing about this. Okay, so let's let's try to experiment. What is money per second? Oh, I don't, sh I don't see it. All right, <laughs> this is getting tedious. It is going. <laughs> this is getting a little annoying. So yeah, I don't know. That was weird. That was definitely weird indeed. But it does work. It, it works. It was just the money per second was odd, I'm guessing, because of how long it would take. It's just definitely not worth the reward. Um, but yeah, I think that works. Oh, one more thing we can do real quick in update. We're simply just going to do health minus equals... Uh... Minus equals DPS, and then oh, that's why. So we're gonna copy this for here. So if health is less than or equal than, we are going to run a new method we're gonna create called kill. Kill. So for hit, so public void kill, and basically kill will be all this right here. Um. This stays here. This comes with me. Kill. There you go. Awesome. That's it.
So now we should have a DPS now. We should be earning not too much money from offline. Let's see about that. Yeah, figured. Um. Oh, ah, one more thing. One more thing before we end this video. This needs to be a times dot time delta time. And then we are good to go. Or else it's running 60 per second or whatever the frame rate is instead of one. So let's go all the way back to stage one. See, that's the nice thing about these buttons. Ah, uh, this ugly ass number. <laughs> that's for sure. <clears throat> I still like to show two decimals. You could show one or zero for this one, honestly. But I'm going to do two. So we have the offline. We have the random multiplier. Let's see, six, five. One. Awesome. So we have that working. We have the, the little animation thing. Uh, what's going on here? Why are the coins not playing? That's a shame. Oh, it's because it's playing. Oh, that's why. This has to play no matter what. Okay, that was our last change of the video. Okay, so now it should work. So when it kills it. Blink. <laughs> that's awesome. I love this. This is so much fun. <laughs> All right, let's see. Ready? Ready? Here's the cool part. <laughs> no way these are do the same. That's kind of weird. Must be the reward, I guess. The reward curve. And this should be a little higher, but that's okay. I'm not doing any damage to it. Yeah, otherwise it works, honestly. It works just fine. Um... That's what upgrades are for. This won't be this low at stage 16, obviously. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. That was way, way longer than I expected it to be. That was another almost like 50 minute video. Totally not intentional, and I hope that's okay. Anyways, make sure you guys check out my Pinterest, join my Discord server, you hit that help, uh, that, be <laughs> that bell button, and uh, turn on notifications, subscribe. Uh, like and comment on the video like usual and check, donate me if you want to support anyways thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed yes yeah. got me in this party all up in a zone how does betty's trying to take away my cell phone like come and party i've been trying to shake you off my mind but just can't get you off me keep it moving they ain't worth it yeah that's what my father taught me but for now i'm going through the motions of letting go because my mind's telling me yes but my heart really don't know your heart went dark out of nowhere yet i still see a glow so we had the hottest love why'd you leave me in the cold